What up YouTube, SW Media here. I know I haven't vlogged in a while, I haven't put out content in months, but today I'm going to share with you a quick video of the settings on my Panasonic G7. I'm going to share with you the settings I use for my vlogs, the settings I use for my music videos, everything from my shutter speed, picture style, frames per second, even how I do my slow mos So, you know, I've been getting a lot of requests for a video of this nature, especially since I put out this video here. So it's been a lot of people in the comment section asking, you know, my settings, how I do my slow mos So I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, my settings and hopefully it'll help some of you out there. So let's get right into it. Okay, I'd like to start off by apologizing for uh, the quality of this video. I had to switch over to uh, my S7 Edge just to film this um, because I'm actually using the G7 to show y'all my settings. Um, let's start off. Menu one, well tab one, page one, photo style. Um, I use center like D in the custom setting. Um, it's just center like D, um, that's all. Um, contrast on negative five, sharpness negative two, noise reduction negative five, saturation negative five. Um, back out of that, filter settings I don't touch, snap movie don't touch. Record format MP4, record quality. Um, I use 4K at 100 megabits per second at 24 frames per second. For slow modes, I use full HD at 28 megabits per second, 60 frames per second. So this setting here is what I use for my slow mo shots. And those, these two are the only two that I use. Going down exposure mode, I keep my exposure in manual. Um, sometimes I might use shutter priority, um, if I'm vlogging because, so, uh, you know, different exposures when you're walking and traveling, it kind of uh, changes due to, you know, different situations. Continuous autofocus I keep on at the moment. I usually don't keep it on, but right now I have it on, um, because I was vlogging in a prior scene. So that's the only reason I use continuous autofocus for, um, Music videos, I actually turn that off. Meter and mode, center weighted. Highlight and shadows, I don't touch. Uh, dynamic, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. Luminous level, zero to 255. Um, scroll down. Mic level display on. Uh, mic level adjust. I have it on uh, negative eight decibels right now. Um, I usually have it on negative 12 decibels because I use the roll video mic. And um, the reason I have it on 8 now because I had the camera pretty far away from me um, in a prior scene when I was vlogging. And I just wanted to make sure um, the volume was uh, at a nice level. Mic level limiter on, wind cut standard. Let's go to the next tab. Um, AE lock. I have it on AE lock only. Um, AF an AE lock hold I have on, shutter autofocus on, um, have press release off, quick autofocus on, eye sensor autofocus, um, let me see, AF, MF I have on. Um, I like to use autofocus and manual focus when I am autofocusing. Um, manual focus assist, I use this setting. It gives you the ability to uh, manual focus with the um, with the focus ring on your lens and with the uh, button on the back next to your menu uh, button. Manual focus assist display picture in picture, manual focus guide on, peeking on, histogram on, guidelines off, center marker off, highlights on, Zebra pattern, I use zebra pattern two, which is zebra pattern, and I set it to 100%. Um, that lets me know when I start clipping in my highlights, once uh, you know my highlights reach 100%. Uh, monochrome live view off, constant preview on. This is important because constant preview um, is for when you're using your camera, this monitor here, if you have constant preview off and you change the shutter speed or aperture, ISO, um, you won't see it in real time. So when you want to see your uh, real time effects, like when you change the shutter speed and aperture, make sure you have constant preview on. I had someone DM me and, uh, on Instagram about that because they were having a problem 
Um, they couldn't see uh, what was happening when they was changing their shutter. Exposure meter on LVF, uh, subjective, monitor display style subjective, monitor info display on, uh, these settings here, I don't touch. Video button on, of course you wanna have that on to press the record button. Um, I, since I don't touch, don't touch. Um, menu guide on, shoot without lens on. I have this on because I use a, a Metabones adapter um, with the Sigma 18 or 35. So if I had this off, I wouldn't be able to record anything or take any photos because the lens would not be recognized due to the uh, attachment of the Metabones adapter, especially since it's Nikon mount. And um, you know, this is a uh, Micro Four Thirds mount. So you wanna have shoot without lens on if you plan on doing any manual video work without a native lens. Let me add that in there. Tab three, um, these are basic settings that you probably set up when you first got the camera. Um, clock set, world time, travel date, Wi Fi, of course. Um, beep I have on, um, the beep volume I have all the way up. Um, shutter volume, I you chose the first tab. Shutter tone, I use number one. That's all subjective to your preference. Um, live view mode, I use 60 frames per second in live view mode. I just like to uh, have my images crisp when I'm looking at them. Uh, monitor display, I don't touch those settings. Haven't changed anything. Monitor luminance, I kind of keep on auto sometimes. Um, every now and then, if I'm outside in bright sun, I might change it, you know, um, depending on the situation. But I leave it on auto most of the time. Economy sleep mode I have on 10 minutes. Uh, auto uh, LVF monitor off I have on five minutes because I don't like my screen going to sleep while I'm recording video. It just is like a hassle sometimes, especially if you're on a gimbal using a Ronin and your monitor goes to sleep. It's just like the worst. Um, don't touch that. Don't touch that. Haven't touched that. Um, these other settings I really haven't touched. Um, pixel refresh. Um, that's basically if um, every now and then you might want to refresh your pixels on your camera. Um, just to make sure, you know, your camera is working properly because sometimes these are digital cameras. So sometimes their processing doesn't work 100% after, you know, extended use. Um, sensor cleaning is self-explanatory. It blows off dust and debris from the sensor. Demo mode off. Format. Format is when you want to format your memory card. Say you uh, have footage from a last, la your last shoot or prior shoot and you already transferred it to your computer. You will want to reformat your uh, SD card. And last tab. Um, really haven't touched any of these settings. I actually need to look more into what some of these things do. And that's pretty much my settings for the G7. Um, if you have any questions, you know, uh, be sure to comment below. Just hit that like button. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and just give me some feedback on what you think. Uh, but these are my settings for my G7. Um, oh, before I go, uh, the shutter speed I use for my music videos is between 1 50th and 1 25th. Um, those usually is between 50th and 1 25th. Um, I just like those shutter speeds because it gives you a nice, crisp, um, sharp image. Um, for slow songs like RB or if it's a mellow song, I'll use a shutter speed of 1 50th. If it's something more edgy, you know, turned up real, you know, uh, real music heavy where the artist is jumping around and doing a bunch of things, I'll use a shutter speed of 125th. Um, for my vlogs, I use a uh, shutter speed of 125th to 160th. Um, so th those are my uh, shutter speeds. For slow motion, see how I have it right here at full HD at 60 uh, P. You want to have a shutter speed of at least 125th, no lower, at least 125th or higher. You don't want to go too high because your slow motion will look weird if you go 
to say something like 640. So yeah, man, those are my settings for the Panasonic G7. Again, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and uh, just continue to check me out. Share this video if you like it. Give me that thumbs up. SW Media, man, checking out.